We did it, everybody. We showed up for the first day. Yep, she's a clapper, everybody. <laughs> Heck yeah. I totally feel like clapping for myself, for you, for everybody. I feel like clapping for humanity today, absolutely. Um, so welcome to Afternoon ACIM number one. This is lesson one. So did you get up this morning and read your lesson? So I feel like part of me, this New Year thing is like, oh yeah, getting into the rhythm. How do, how do I do this again? So make sure you download the app if you don't have a book, okay? Or if you're even if you're gonna listen to me or someone else read you the lesson, I think that app is like a good thing to have just to see like where you're at. You can check it off, you know, for the day. So what do you think? This is so simple, right? Did your mind actually read today's lesson, which is nothing I see in this room, on this street, you'll hear everybody driving by, um, from this window means anything. Bam, none of these cookies mean anything to me for those of us who like to think in cookies. Um, what did you think? It, like the ego mind is like, what the hell? Like this is ridiculous. Like what does Sadie sign me up for? <laughs> but just go with it, right? How easy is it? It's not asking you to say it all day even. It's just saying, hey, only say this twice, right? Like in the morning to the lesson and then later on tonight, like... When you think about it again, sit down with the text and do it again. Just look around and be like this, um, whatever this freaking lamp is called doesn't mean anything to me. This camera doesn't mean anything to me. This chamomile tea doesn't mean anything to me. Although, and then, although in my mind then it'll say, oh yes, it does. Yes, it does. I love that tea. I love that tea. But that's a thing. We want to sort of put it like this kind of non-judgment equality thing over everything nothing means more or less so anyways I hope you read the lesson I'm not gonna reread the lesson in our afternoons because I already have a separate video to do that or you're doing that on your own or through the book or but in the afternoons it's like a check-in kind of like how'd that go for you what do you think um, I love just stopping in to say, I love you. <laughs> All right, so I've had like an amazing morning already. So I'm gonna share some personal things um, with you um, because I feel like that's a good thing to do with these videos too. Like let's just, you know, sharing is caring. Sharing is wakening. Sharing is all that. So I had a really great morning. I woke up. Um, now yesterday, let's let's backtrack till yesterday. You know, yesterday I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I'm really digging these insights from pathwaysoflight.org and I'm gonna read them every day and I'm gonna think about them and I might even take a few notes and talk about them. But what if I like could just read them to myself and to my friends? Because whenever I read something out loud, it clicks differently, you guys. So Think about reading your lessons out loud to yourself as well. So anyways, got it in my mind, little spirit whispered in my ear, why don't you reach out to them and ask them permission to narrate their insights? And I was like, all right, I'll do it. And so I called them on the phone to ask permission to narrate their insights. Now they've already done their own narrations on their YouTube channel. They have them all organized on their website. You can check them out. So there was no, like, this was almost like, hey, this would benefit me and like the three people tuning in to my video. So I kind of felt like, well, there's really no incentive for them to give me permission. Do you know what I mean? Like it, I benefit, I benefit them not really, truly. They're doing just fine without me. See, I've already gotten those rejection responses like my hero, Tina Louise Spalding. I wanted to narrate her Tina Jesus things, but she said, mm, I'll pass. I'm doing fine without you. <laughs> That's literally what she said to me. And so I was kind of thinking like my ego is like goosing me up for more rejection because that's what egos do. They're, they're not our friends. My ego does not like me one bit. If you could hear the things that my ego says to me, you would not like my ego, okay? So I was totally goosed up for a rejection, them saying no. Um, 
but they consulted spirit and they thought about it and they messaged me this morning that they they uh, are allowing me to do that they have authorized me reading their insights so this is truly a gift um to us because i think that we're going to benefit a lot by reading their insights and um kind of hi big truck <laughs> and you know just hanging out with what they've they've shared and then we can share our own insights so please feel free to share anything you want to in the comments um or on your facebook page or twitter and instagram like make sure that you're sharing your journey with others because that's really important because we really are in this all together we truly are all right so anyways um while i'm getting distracted with vehicles and stuff i want to talk to you about my notes that i took from tina jesus which all these links are in in the description box my tina jesus and um a few of other things that I gathered from the Pathway of Light Insight. So I absolutely love taking notes because I'm a big nerd. And hanging out with Tina Jesus this morning, Jesus made me laugh, like literally lol right off the bat. Um, when he said that most people don't like being here, they don't enjoy living here. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> I don't know, it just totally cracked me up. But like, why is that? Well, because we don't like what's in our minds. And I think that sort of is gonna resonate across the board with everybody who's ever had repetitive thinking, who's ever like literally tortured themselves, who have spent their lives in fear. You know what's in your mind and you know if you like it or not. And if you don't like what's in your mind, then you're not going to enjoy living here. So if we have distorted minds, okay, and what does that mean? You're like, I don't know if my mind's distorted. Well, is it full of hatred, unloving thoughts, pain? Are you unhealthy? Is your mind unhealthy? Is your body unhealthy? If you have an unhealthy body, you have an unhealthy mind. And so why are we all like this? Because we all live in the same society. Our society worships death. Um, and death really is like, you know, an illusion, even though we are taught it from a very young age. And that's what Jesus was saying. We believe in this illusory state of death because we were taught our whole freaking lives. And really, the truth of the matter is we can step away from all of this. Suffering is optional. Like, we have to kind of get it in our heads that like if if we are suffering we are choosing it we are choosing to suffer at this point and that's what a course of miracles is going to teach us to step away to step away from this bs illusion and train our minds yeah baby 365 that's why we're hanging out this year we're going to heal our minds we're going to heal our minds so we feel more love more forgiveness true forgiveness freedom Another F word for us to put in our pockets. <laughs> we got we got two new we got two double two double birds now. Forgiveness and freedom. We're gonna. I'm I'm still gonna swear. You know that. But but I like these new F words. So we step away from this this suffering and we can start living with true self-expression and all that no sacrifice or suffering <laughs> and then jesus made me laugh again in the tina jesus video because like he said no sacrifice or suffering like you know christians are 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 indoctrinated in truly is what he was kind of implying and then I laughed because like, that's why Christians aren't maybe going to like this because they believe they have to suffer. They believe in sacrifice. They believe they're bad, naughty sinners, you know, and it's like, this is coming at them with something different. And so that might, you know, not sit well. Anyways, it, it made me laugh. That's why Christians don't like it because <laughs> there's no sacrifice or suffering. All right. So anyways, if you listen to the Tina Jesus, you'll also... Um, with me probably enjoyed uh, that he brought in the in the idea that we're going to be calling in our guides and expanding our consciousness and we might literally physically feel this when we change our mind we're going to actually like feel it maybe a little tingling in the head 
uh, ringing in the ears. This is expansion. So when you expand your energy, your body's going to feel it as well. So just be prepared for that. What's up? This is the first day of the rest of your life. Yeah, be free. We want to be free to think and choose in our minds. We want to be brave. We want to have no fear. And our guides and everybody and is just saying we're so proud of you. We're so proud of you for showing up. So anyways, I'm really excited to hang out with Tina Jesus more often. And then also every morning, visit pathwaysoflight.org and hang out with their insights. That is a collection of of a couple people, a few people chiming in of their experiences. So I read it as one reading, but it's, you know, a collaboration. And now we are also going to be adding our energy to that. So we'll listen to that next together. Um, but my personal walkaways from listening to the Path of Light Insight this morning for lesson one was the reminder that a closed mind cannot learn. If our minds are closed, we cannot learn. It's like, have you ever tried to tell somebody something new that they're just set in their old ways where well, their mind is closed? They can't learn. They can't even hear you, bro. So it's like you got to make sure you're not having that closed mind. You want to open your mind to your inner teacher. Your teacher is inside of you and you need to open up your mind to that guidance. So anyways, I also love that in the Path of Lights, it reminded me that we do share with each other Sharing is our learning. Sharing is our waking. We are all in this together. Um, and just them giving me permission to narrate their insights was like such a boost in my faith in unity consciousness. Because my ego is like, oh, meow, they're going to reject you. But actually, they <laughs> they gave my rowdy ass permission to narrate. So anyways, I just am thanking them so much and I'm thanking the Holy Spirit and I'm thanking just everything and everyone. But yeah, once we give our little bit of little bit of willingness, the Holy Spirit will use your little bit of willingness. So all you had to do was show up today and now the Holy Spirit is going to just use your little bit of willingness wherever you're at and he's going to start to show you beautiful things and you'll start to hear the voice of your inner teacher. And it's all because you looked around the freaking room and said that nothing meant anything. <laughs> so what'd you think of that? Yeah, I'm a total nerd, absolutely. But you know, whenever you're listening to something that's inspiring you, bring it really into you by jotting down a few notes or doodling or I mean, get your body involved with your listening. I think that's a good idea. So anyways, I love taking notes and I'm excited to share whenever I do have time to take notes, sharing them in the video. So um, the pathwaysoflight.org, I want you definitely to click the links um, to visit them and you know read the insight for yourself. Although I am gonna read it to you here in just a minute. I'm gonna, well, that's how we'll end our hangouts, uh, we'll, we'll just listen to these insights together. But yeah, a closed mind cannot learn. Yeah, so like, if you want to learn something new, you have to have that beginner's mind, you have to open up your mind um, to at least entertaining, entertaining some new ideas, being open, um, being available and able to see a new perspective, you know, kind of like when you're down here in the trenches where we live, you know, it's like we see only this. Well, we climb up to the mountain and hang out with the eagles for a little bit. We're like, oh my God, like, look, everything looks different. So we want to be able to open up our minds so we can have new perspectives and have new learning. So in the past, if you've always made suffering for yourself now we want to open up ourselves to learning how to make happy you know do, should i should i just keep this all year this was a birthday sign. <laughs> anyways it's not gonna stay all year <laughs> so yeah we want to make happy and then really tune into ourselves and our inner teachers so anyways i'll wrap this up because we're gonna we'll uh, listen to the insights, but I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for reading your 
your um, Course in Miracles, whether that's online or listening to me, did you listen to the introduction? Listen to the introduction too, because, um, I <laughs> gross. <laughs> All right, so, but, cause there's some things that um, it says in the introduction that I think are so good. Um, the purpose of this workbook is to train your mind in a systematic way to a different perception of everyone and everything in the world. And if that doesn't interest you, then I guess this isn't for you. Like, why would you not want to see things differently? The world sucks. <laughs> like, really? So open yourself up and um, read it. Everything is very, very simple. Um, it'll tell you exactly what to do and not do. Like it said today for the first lesson, don't let things become ritualistic. Like don't just walk around like a robot, like meh, 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 meh. these cookies do not mean anything to me. Meh, 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 meh. No, that's not what we're going for. This is just a gentle easing in um, to some mind re-instruction. So just, you know, follow it exactly. It's so simple. It really hardly takes any time at all. Um, did it say anything? Oh, here's a, here's a, here's what I wanted to say. You are merely asked to apply the ideas as you are directed to do. Listen up, y'all. You are not asked to judge them at all. We're not asked to judge this. Just be open to it. Um, you are asked only to use them. It is their use that will give them meaning to you and will show you that they are true. So we are definitely indoctrinated from the get-go to be judgmental little human beings, right? Like, do you like chocolate or vanilla ice cream? Bitch, I love all ice cream is what we should have said. But no, what they do is like they get you to always be choosing this or that, this or that. Do you like it or not? This or that. And I think that's what we have to undo a lot in our minds. Like this whole like, like, don't judge these lessons, just do them. You have, you don't have to offer any judgment whatsoever. And that's going to be hard for everybody to do because, yeah, that's, that's how they reel us in, getting us really accustomed to judgment. All right, so let's listen to the insights because um, there's so much beauty. When you hear a little bit of truth, right? Like my friend Andrew said, pick out the bit of truths, okay? And let's just put them in our pockets and keep on walking our path of light. So yeah, it's like just really see what what feels good and just be open. Yeah, just be open. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook, Lesson 1 Insights. Nothing I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, means anything. The text tells us that we must learn to question everything we think we know. This first lesson of the workbook begins the process of opening our minds to the possibility that we may not know what we think we know. We may not really understand what we think we understand. A closed mind that thinks it already understands is not open to learning. Early in the text, we are told that this is a course in mind training and will lead to a complete thought reversal. It's not just a little adjustment. It's a complete 180 degree turn from the direction we thought was true. Because we believe our safety is in what we believe to be true, we are not likely to welcome something that is telling us the opposite. So with today's lesson, the workbook gently begins the process of loosening our grip on what we have believed to be true and bringing it to question. The ego would tell us that these beginning exercises are trivial, but practiced as indicated. These exercises prepare the way for a profound shift in our perception. It is the beginning step on a journey that leads to joy, 
beyond anything we have experienced in this world and peace that cannot be disturbed. How long this journey is for us depends on one thing, our willingness to fully practice the exercises and open our mind to the lessons of our inner teacher. We are not alone on this journey. We have help in our mind always, and we have the help of all our brothers who are dedicated to awakening from the dream. It is a shared awakening because sharing is waking. We join in the journey of returning to where we never left. We embark on a journey together today and every day. We are together whether we realize it or not. In truth, we are one. A world of separation could never be real. That is why it does not mean anything. It has meaning only to the extent that it can be a useful tool of awakening, a teaching aid. The Holy Spirit can and will use anything in this world as a bridge to bring us from our belief in separation to our recognition that only oneness is real. As we are willing to follow with an open mind, we will be led to true and everlasting happiness, deep peace and joy without reservation. This world is the opposite of reality. We need mind training in order to let go of what is not true. We need mind training in order to recognize the difference between what is real and what is not real. This mind training will go on day by day as we are willing to practice each lesson as specified in the workbook. We embark on our journey today, recognizing that we do not know what anything means. And we are willing to be led to what is real. We are willing to return home to love. We are willing to be happy instead of right. As I look around me and tell myself that nothing is real, I am overcome by a surreal feeling. Things look different. Things seem different. What is it that gives them meaning? My mind gives them meaning. And why do some things have more meaning than others? or less meaning than others. The sense of attachment fades away and I suddenly remember a dream I had this morning about a friend who died in October. How real was that? She seemed real in the dream. The interactions with her family seemed real. Yet when I awakened, I realized it was only a dream. Are these things that mean nothing only a dream as well? If they are, then perhaps I should let myself be amused by them as I would by a movie or a television show, yet form no real attachment to them because things do come and go rather easily, don't they? Pathways of Light Dot org. She's a clapper, everybody. All right, well, that's it, y'all. Thank you for joining me on this first day. Come back tomorrow and commit to yourselves to the month of January to hang out with me. You owe it to yourself to at least try this out for 30 days. And 30 days really actually just flows right into 365 it really will but you know what if you're kind of like on the skeptic fence and you're just like I'm not really sure 
30 days, right? Month of January, why not? I know you're not doing anything else. And if you have nothing else to do, which I know you don't, I will keep you busy. I will keep you busy with this to the extent that you want. And then, you know, if, if you find that I am being too distracting though, to your journey with A Course in Miracles, it's okay, it's okay to reject me. It's okay to write me off. Like you could just do it, you in the book or you in the app or like, you know what I mean? Like don't let me add too much here and there if it's too much. Um, all of this afternoon stuff is optional, absolutely optional. It really is just you, the text and the lessons, just that's all that is required. So only hang out with me if you want to and I'm not overwhelming and distracting and confusing you. <laughs> but you could just hang out with me because I like to make weird faces. All right, enough of that. We'll see, I don't wanna give it all on the first day here, okay? I don't wanna hold off on a little bit, make you wait. <laughs>